they are passionate about or that they love. Why are you slamming that kid? Because I'm right. Jeepers creepers. I haven't even had coffee this morning. No, so the last podcast, so apparently I talked about the ducks and how we hit all those ducks in the office. Okay, well, I forgot that it was a big secret. The podcast came out. It was one where I think, I don't think I fully like listened to it. I think I had the video up and I had, was doing caption and whatever, right? Yeah, like you usually. I do listen. I do listen. In the morning, I get an, a text from Emily, who is my, you know, accomplice, and she was so mad. And I said, what, like, what are you mad about? Why, what, what you did threw, I do? You threw her under the bus. And, but I didn't even remember. So I think I like black out a little when we do these. It just shows that like, I don't know what comes out of my so mouth. So Kristen didn't know that it was you two and you ratted it out publicly. You're talking about the little ducks, right? Yeah, we hit a bunch of my boss's office. Rachel Downs, she was in my office the other day, and she was telling me all about this, because Luke sent Kristen a uh, quack attack. And she's like, does she know that it's from you, or she does she think it's from one of us? And I'm like, um, Luke didn't tell. So I don't know if she received that recently, but Luke sent it to her. Outstanding. So I don't even know if she knows who it actually came from. Somebody's l- listening to this, like, thinking about applying to Royal, and they're like, what is going on over there with ducks? Quack attacks? Ducks are falling out of cabinets? You gotta work here to join the fun. I mean, it it's a thing. Robin, do you want to introduce yourself? So I'm Robin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. I'm from Eau Claire downtown. I'm a Mar 3. Been here about two and a half years. What's that three mean? I'm up as far as you can go. Oh, so what does that mean you do? I do it all. What, I open accounts. All? I open loans. Oh. But there's like stages. At first, you're just like... You're a teller. Yeah. You're a teller. And now you can open business accounts. Business accounts, IRAs, HSAs. But you have a other other duties that you're why you're here today i am part of the digital task force that sounds fancy digital task force it what is, is pretty that? fancy it's the task force that gets together to determine you know topics that we're going to teach our da's uh on what a monthly those? basis so our digital ambassadors Ooh. Ah. yeah so our digital ambassadors each each branch and um, even some branches in the corporate center, so like member service, uh, have digital ambassadors that go to this meeting to learn about new interesting ways about digital products or our most recent digital communications. And they take the information we present, bring it back to their team in a fun and exciting way to get everybody involved. We love it. Just like a Money Donuts podcast episode. Absolutely. So you are bringing it back to everybody, team members in that in a fun and engaging way. Absolutely. We hope so. I mean, it's a long podcast, so we'll see if it's fun and engaging. It's a lot of podcasts. (laughs) I'm in a spicy mood. It's going to be fun and engaging. (laughs) So what are some of those digital products that we're talking about? So digital products, you know, we have our mobile app, which, my gosh, it's like a, a teller on your phone or a teller on your computer. You can do so much from that these days. You know, the biggest pushes right now are real-time alerts, you know, setting the alerts mm-hmm. for low balances or, you know, withdrawals, whatever it might be. You know, you have your card management on there. You can turn your card off. So, you know, you lost it. Oh, my gosh, I don't have to worry anymore. I can actually just turn it off. It's right at your hands. You can put your travel notifications. You're going to California for the holidays. Oh, my gosh, I it didn't stop. I know, right? That would be fantastic. Maybe no snow. You can just go right on your app, and it's right there for you at the convenience of your own hands. You just go ahead, push the button. It's done. You oh, don't have perfect. to worry. Um, crazy new thing we were kind of learning about lately is even if you lose your card, you turn it off in your actual phone. If you have it in your wallet, you can turn it back on. It's It still works. So you don't even need the physical card itself. You can use your wallet. So that's a new thing. We were digital like your, wallet. Your, your digital, digital wallet. Digital wallet. What? Yeah. It's something new we were looking into um, that we just found. As someone who loses their debit card a lot, yeah, that is excellent it still information works. for me. I mean, I would replace it as soon as you get back, but... Yeah, but sometimes it's just like hidden under my car seat, you know? Like, it's there, but it's not there. Yeah. So <laughs> it's usually, incognito. Like, usually I'm not worried about it, but, you know, I'm cautious. Cautious. It's making yeah. me nervous. I'm not surprised. About the location of your debit card or what? About <laughs> Cooper's always losing her oh, debit okay. card. My ID and my debit card. Never, like... 
my driver's license can tell you where it is right now. I have two of them. So if I don't anyone know if could benefit from a phone wallet, it's probably cool. It's well, probably no, the thing is I have to turn my ID in every time I go to prison. And so then I like to teach at the prison. Correct. And so <laughs> I just don't ever know like what jacket, what pocket, what did I take? Now it's winter. It's a whole different thing. So one time I used my library of Com- Congress card. They are some states, though, a digital wallet. They are putting driver's license in them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. yeah. Wisconsin isn't, but there's a couple states that have explored it. So that's kind of cool. I want to know what the funnest thing is you've learned in digital experience lately. The funnest thing I've learned? Yeah. Like, what's the most new, fun, and exciting thing you can share? And then Steve and James can go. Yeah. What are some of those things that team members can do to help our members or, you know, benefit from our digital products? So, like, if I walk into the branch I got it. and cannot get into my online banking or my mobile app, can I walk in and say, I cannot get into this. Can you help me figure it out? Absolutely. Can they do that? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Is that, like, an everyday thing, kind of? Or is it only happening Multiple times a day. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, multiple times a day. So, if you're in that situation where you're like, I'm not getting into the mobile app, I don't know what to do with this, like, you're not the only one. Absolutely. We say, you're not the only one. We can help you right here. It literally takes just a few minutes for them to come up to the teller window and we can help them. They don't even need an appointment to come in and sit down. It's just a a quick, simple transaction right at the the teller window. I was thinking about this this morning that we, all four of us, probably pretty digitally engaged with mobile banking. When did you turn into a mobile banker? Or when were you first like introduced to it? Like when did we start using the mobile app? Or just online banking in general, because for me, until I got the, I'll be honest, until I got this job, I would just kind of have an idea of what type of money I had. And I didn't really, not that I didn't see the benefit of it, but I just didn't want to take the steps to really, I didn't want one more thing. But now I can talk about. You can't like live without it. Right. Yeah. It's just the different options that you can't believe you can do with digital banking. I feel like I got it when I got my checking account. And I think I was 16 when I did that. So I opened my checking account and then have always kind of been on my own financially, you know, as far as managing it. And so I I think I might have done online banking. I don't know that they had the mobile app yet. And then um, I don't know, after that, I just, I became 16, 17, 18, two years after is when I started working in credit unions. And so then when I tellered and stuff, I had to know all the things to help the members. And so I think I've just been super engaged in it after that. And there's something about like when you work at a financial, especially on the front line, you like never do your business actually at the front line. (laughs) Like I think we do everything online, just you know, you forget about it. It's just part of your day to day. There, I don't know. It's like tellers never actually have cash on them. It's a whole thing, right? Right? I'm not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> I, see, you are not wrong. I'm with Steve. I didn't start using Royals Mobile Banking until probably when I became a digital ambassador for my what? branch. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now we're getting into it. So interesting. I I don't do the finances in my life. So I'm like, okay, I don't really need to know this. But then I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to know this because I got to help the members and I have to be able to explain exactly what I'm doing to the members. So it's like, hold on, let me pull up my phone. Okay. Yep. This is how you do that. So yeah, I downloaded it and played around with it and started opening accounts and seeing how, you know, the members would actually have to go through the process. But I wanted to be able to explain to them what we're doing and why we should and why we have it. I was in the same boat where I wasn't doing a lot of the finances and my wife would keep taking checks to the bank and I'm like, oh, don't we, can't we just deposit those mobile? And she's like, you figure it out. And I was like, no, just keep driving it, whatever. Is Stacy an online banker now? Yeah. I mean, cause I'm pushing it as far as like, yeah, just especially like mobile check deposit. I was like, there just, is nothing better than getting that check from your grandma for Christmas and depositing it right then. On your couch. Seriously, yes. <laughs> On I your mean, couch maybe at not, Christmas. Like, you might want to wait, like not right in front of grandma. <laughs> like you might want to take it home and do it. And then know? just hand right her the check back. Right, right in, front, in of grandma. front of grandma. It's done. Actually, that could be an interesting opportunity to be like, did you know grandma? Like watch this. I know. No, but 
yeah, I'd totally do it in front of her. I mean, they know I'm going to put it in there anyway. What's the difference? It feels weird wait? to me. I don't know. Maybe that, like it's like if you take the money out of a card and then put it in your wallet right away. Like, should you leave the money in the card when you open it? No, because yes, I, know, like, I have lost so many gift cards. <laughs> so take many. Money. Just take the money and run. Got it. Okay. That's why they give it to you. They know. I think it's rude if you take a picture of the check, deposit it, and then hand the check back to grandma. And oh, be no, like, you should keep the need, check. I don't need this. I mean, yeah. in case it doesn't actually get deposited, yeah, there's the whole thing. I mean, I learned the last few weeks that banks used to send the checks back to the people that wrote them. Like at the end of the month, you would get an envelope with every check that you wrote that month back from the bank. Well, now you just get a picture in your online banking. That blew my mind that that was like the paper came back to you. <laughs> like the actual piece of paper. So mobile mobile deposit is a step in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. When did when did you start doing online banking? Uh, I think I had it in college when, you know, I was becoming more financially independent. I needed a way to see what was in my account keep track of like paychecks and like did i have enough to cover tuition or rent or things like that so it also made me you know looking at my 12 year old today i was like if we get him into online banking when he's like 13 that's a good way to like start managing money and just figuring out like interest and all that jazz that's a good way you know if you start to do even like a checking account or something to be like okay you know you have your 20 dollars in here for the week Let's check it before we make a decision. And, you know, like learning that um, awareness of spending is a really good tool. I still, I had this conversation with my brothers this past weekend. <laughs> I, I pulled the audience. I was like, all right, who uses digital banking? <laughs> and my oldest brother was like, oh, yeah, all the time. And then one of my middle brother was like, no, I'm not doing it. Like doesn't even have it set up. I'm sure he has it set up, but he just actually. What's his reasons? I'm curious. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I. I didn't really push him on it. My question to you was going to be: What is the pushback you get from people not using online banking or mobile, the mobile app, to do their finances? So actually, we just talked about this in our last meeting um, for the DA task force, and so. We had a list compiled of, you know, what's the pushback? What's the obstacles that we're coming into? And, you know, there's always the, they have the savings account with a loan or a savings account with a CD. Um, So that's the most common obstacle that we're running into. You know, there's always going to be the the folks that are like, I don't, I don't trust it. It's, it's not secure. No, I just don't understand technology. Um, And those are the cases that we really just have to make them feel that, you know, let them know this is secure. This is safe, you know, Passwords are made difficult for a reason. Um, keep it away so that no one understands. You know, change them frequently. We just got to make them feel that it's actually the secure, you know, platform that we made it to be. Um, so that that was another obstacle that we came into. Um, I think the third one was, you know, having the TRO in a joint, but the joint is, you know, digitally engaged, but the TRO might not be. What is this so, TR, TRO? So the uh, primary holder of the account, you know, just trying to make sure that they understand the benefits for themselves personally, you know, Uh, each of them have debit cards. And if only one has the mobile app, only one's going to be able to shut it down while the other one's like, well, my cards, you know, something's going on with it or I lost it. What are they going to do? So we just got to enforce the ideas that everything is there for you at a hand's notice. It's just it's it's on your hand. It's a teller on your hand, basically. You know, it's there for you whenever you need it. So. There's so many different obstacles that we encounter every day. We're actually still throwing it out there for our DAs to be like, hey, what are you what are you doing? What's working? What's not working? Let's work together and make it a successful, um, you know, platform for everyone and make everybody understand, even the members that find it difficult. Do you ever get pushback of, I don't want to remember another password? And then do you, do you talk about face ID or fingerprint ID or any of that stuff or multi- Factor authentication. Authentication. Good job. <laughs> I got there. <laughs> it's a hard word. It's a hard word. Um, so, I mean, we do have the members that are like, oh, should I use my face or should I use my finger? Obviously, that's up to them. It's their own personal device usually um, when they're coming in and they're bringing their cell phone. The crazy thing is you kind of got to be like the knower of all cell phones. So, droids and, and Apple, I'm like, I'm an Apple girl. So, I'm like, okay, droid, it's kind of 
out of my You're range. Like, I, I don't. I can't help you. I'm like, where is this on your phone? I'm like, <laughs> go get an iPhone and then bring it back here. And I can help you. Do you have like another Android expert in your office that you'd be like, ah, oh, talk to them? You, you got to learn them both, unfortunately, because <laughs> okay, okay. you got to be able to help them. Um, so it's kind of crazy. I'm like, well, it's your choice if you want to set it up this way. It's just another way to protect yourself, another layer of protection. So it's up to them. We do also have, you know, the iPads in the in the branch. So for people that don't use the mobile phone, they just use computers. Mm -hmm. We can help them too. So they shouldn't feel like they're, oh, I I don't use my phone, but I use my computer. So come on in. We can still help you. We have our iPads to log in, log you out, get you in and get you get you going. Sign my Nana up for online banking after having a very, they are very paper people still and with my bomba passing away it's been a lot of trying to figure out okay you know what's actually coming into this account what's changing as far as you know social security stuff like that and so it's for me I'm like we can't be a week or a month behind like we cannot wait for that paper statement and so it's been really but she was hesitant she's like no I don't think you know and I assured her that it is safe and almost safer than getting a paper statement in the mail, honestly, you know, so, but that's been super helpful. So even if, you know, I think of my Nana where online banking has been a really great asset to her, she doesn't log in or anything. You know, she has her passwords. I bring my laptop, we log in, we look, we log out, we're good. But it's just been a really, um, like peace of mind for her to be able to see, okay, so that one did get switched over. Okay, this is what we're still waiting for and that kind of thing. And to, have a picture of how like where all their money actually is and be able to see it versus you know keeping track of it all on paper so I think any anyone can truly use it or if you're managing you know someone else's account like a POA can be a really good tool just to be able to keep tabs and you know help them answer questions and get documents and all that kind of stuff was there anything that you showed her on online banking that you're that she was like, oh my goodness, this is really neat? Fun. Speaking of checks, that was the one thing we. She had this check written down. And she's like, I just don't know what exactly that check was or why it came out of there. And so we were able to go into online banking, pull up that check she had written, and I said, this is you know what it was for is for energy or what I don't know what it was, but she thought that was so cool because they had to go in before and get a printout and. But now I was like, no, no, no. We'll just look online. We're not so, going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, she really thought that was pretty neat to be able to actually see that. I want to go through the, just the Rolodex of things that you can do generally online that people would maybe not know about. Do kids these days know what a Rolodex is? <sighs> I dated myself. Is that what you're saying? I was just curious. I know what it is. I know what it that's is. That's pretty digital fitting, Steve. You're going to check your... Like your contact list, your list app, app or something. Know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Trello. Let's just go Reminders. through my notes of. <laughs> there, oh, no. oh let, okay. let me get my notebook out. Um. Sticky notes like the app, not the <laughs> yes. post-it. Yeah. Like, how do you want this to work? You want us to just throw out a favorite random mobile app feature? Oh, I thought, oh, we, we could make I thought it, Steve had. We could make it. Let's make it into a little game, like a little I expert games. games of. You have to you have to name a feature on the app. And then we go around and you go until you can't think of one. Uh, oh, game on. And we'll try to go fast. Well, yeah, fast. fast. Well, just so, because there's a lot of features. Can I, can I open my app? Can no, I that's cheat? Cheating. Yes. Oh, I mean, oh. That's, that's important, oh. right? You, number one, you got to be able to open the app. So you're thinking of that as a feature. That, oh, you're thinking of that as a feature? No, I, I thought she comment. actually uh, wanted the, to open her oh. No, I do want to open my app. No, you can't no. look at your app. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you want do you want the answers to the test? Well, if I don't know what the answers are, right. kind of. First feature. I mean, okay. Because James I don't is going. James is going. First feature, you can check your balance. Second feature, you can use Face ID to open your app if Steve lets you. You can pay a bill. You can transfer money to a different uh, internal accounts. Oh, you could use person to person no, payments that to send was money mine. to another person at Royal or outside of Royal. Which is kind of like Venmo, but built into your Royal app. That was not fair because keep thinking, I, come on, keep thinking, keep going, keep going. Um, 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 you can use money management, which is a budgeting tool that's integrated into the phone and computer. You can take a picture of a check and deposit it. I thought you were totally going to say that. Yeah, you can check your FICO score. <laughs> you can set up a real-time alert for a large withdrawal or a large deposit to an account. 
You can. You can pull up your statements and tax statements that you need, tax documents. You can set up a travel notification. You can turn your debit card or any card off. I like this game already. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, boy. It's like royal trivia. <laughs> it's like royal trivia that we made up. You can use the bill pay feature in online banking or the mobile app to pay your bills. That was already said. You lose. Was it? Oh. Yes, I did oh. say that. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess you could set up a different type of alert called the payment reminder for when your payment is due on a loan. We'll accept it. <laughs> Stretch. You can... I keep forgetting gonna say it's a good one. Oh, i have i have a good one yes sorry i'm hoping she doesn't take mine i'm hoping you guys don't take mine come on no i stop. said fast i know Thank but i you, you want to pass you could pass i don't want to pass you can open an account a new Damn. oh that's oh, oh that okay no, no 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 no. i remembered mine i remembered <laughs> mine um you can go actually you can't do that on the mobile app you can open an account Let's talk about that you was can mine. hide and that was totally mine. You can do that on the mobile app now. Yes. I can do that on the mobile app? Yes. Under settings. Just, why are you guys taking mine? No, that's my favorite. You can have the open account thing back. But so you can <laughs> on your mobile app, which is my favorite feature ever, you can hide and unhide your accounts. So if you have a savings account that is your emergency fund, right? I'm a natural spender. If I can see that money, I think it's you know, a free shopping trip, right? But so you can hide that account, but you can still set up like out of your paycheck, those transfers to go to it. So it'll build, but you just don't see it when you log in. And then you can just unhide it if you need to access it. It's tricky. I'm always worried I'm going to forget about it if I leave it hidden though. That's which maybe is the that's point. A, that's okay. a good point. Yeah, that's the point of it. You don't want to see a positive it. thing. Okay. Or like Christmas funds or holiday yeah, funds, yeah. birthday, you know, all that fun stuff. Somebody else's account that you're on. Yeah. That you don't want to see. I can have the ad accounts. Yeah. Okay, phew. phew. Sorry, Steve. You can add CDs, certificates. Well, what about renaming those accounts? Does that kind of fall under the same thing that you were talking about? No. Okay. That's a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you can rename the accounts. If you're going to say rename the accounts, talk about how the MARs can see the names. So you can like walk in Find and be it. like Coco Savings if you have one for your Oh, account. I didn't know this. Chocolate Savings. Tell me, Yeah, tell me about that. You didn't know you, you didn't know about that? No, so if you I come in and you go <laughs> You come in and you go, Hey, can you take money on my checking? And I look at your account and you have like four checkings and I'm like, Oh, which checking? And you're like, uh, the one with this amount. And I'm like, Well, if there's a name on it, you could be like, Hey, get it from Funny Farm Checking. Okay, great. I'm gonna take it out of Funny Farm Checking for you. So if you just write it even on your, your withdrawal slip like funny farm checking i'm like okay i know exactly which <laughs> mm-hmm. one he's talking about i've heard of like spouses who can both access online banking it can kind of become a game where you know you have the savings account and you might know that steve's going to go to the credit union to do a withdrawal and stacy could say tell steve he shouldn't be spending this money because like you can see that and so steve could say oh there's an account that i don't know it has a long name and you could say oh Steve, you shouldn't be spending this money. <laughs> I, we've had it's people true. do that before. It's, it's funny. absolutely true. Yes, I have seen that. So when you are managing your payment cards, like your debit card or your credit card, you can mark it as lost or stolen. And you can also order a replacement. You can order a replacement from the app? You sure can. What? It'll get mailed to you. I feel so like I'm going to lose this it's game. Different than going, <laughs> it's different than going to an office where they can usually print you one on the spot. Three and a half minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty fast. I was like, please never wait. Don't wait in the mail for it. It will take forever. But if you truly, like if you have it in your digital wallet and you're like, ah, I don't actually use my physical card that much. It's just lost under the front seat of my car, or whatever. Or maybe it's fell out as I was on my free shopping trip with my account that was not hidden as it should have been. Or you move to Iowa and you don't have a branch really close to you. You can still definitely, still definitely take part in a lot of. Why is that relevant to you? <laughs> Are you moving to Iowa? What's wrong with Iowa? I'm just... <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> yeah, go. You can apply for a loan. You you sure can, yeah. Gosh, there's so many. I know. That's why I want to look at the app because there's so many there's things so we're many not things. talking about. There's so many things. You think there's a lot of things that we're not talking yeah, about? Yeah, there is. I bet All there right. are. 
Go ahead and open it. All right, good. Game over. We all won. You could find <laughs> ro- yeah. you could find Royal's routing number. You can. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And your account number. Oh yeah, you can, you that can, one's and your huge. Number. You can schedule an appointment at an office. You can find an office near you. Can you can find locations, uh-huh. ATM locations. You were struggling at first, but now you're just I'm on, on fire. Now he's on oh fire. My goodness. You could set up a recurring payment. You could set up a one-time payment. You can reconcile your accounts. You can order checks. You can go to my TurboTax. Oh, TurboTax. TurboTax. You can access your investment and insurance accounts. Oh, uh, credit card card cards. Yes. You can see deposit rates. You can add an account. Check the status of your account application. You can apply for a mortgage. You can visit the website. You can schedule an appointment, send a secure message. You can call us. You can view loan rates. What happens if I click? You can manage your certificates. They all, expand. all right, Cooper's going to continue doing this. My question for you is: you obviously you're in the office, but you're promoting digital products. Where do you see those two pairing up together? Oh, you can update your address. That is a big one. I remember tellering and sending out these little cards and saying, "Hi, can you handwrite your address on there?" And then having to manually do it. This was at a different credit union, but now people I was can just, say we don't do that. No. <laughs> We used to. It was every year there was a whole campaign of updating addresses, right? Um, and so it was a whole thing. But now you can say, hey, I can see you have online banking. Could you just go update your address, you know, because you moved? And then they can update it. Then you get all your statements and stuff securely. So, I mean, it's convenience for a member. Just just letting them know, hey, we appreciate seeing you. And there's still things we should do in office. But, you know, if, if you don't have the time to visit us, we understand. You have the convenience all right on your hand. Just take care of it from that. If, don't feel rushed or the need to have to be down here at the branch and visiting us. But it's all there for you because Royal's there all the time for the members. You can, you, can make, you, can, you can make it really easy to do some stuff with the mobile app. But the level of service that you can get and details that you can go into, like uh, certain things. I'd rather have somebody come apply for a loan and talk to me in an office than do it over a phone. It's just going to be, I feel like the, the member is going to feel more comfortable and maybe feel like they're in better hands to talk to a person about those kind of things. And then we can actually speak about their real life experiences, you know, what they expect. And then I can talk to them, you know, one-on-one in the office. Whereas if you get the phone and you're applying and it's like, oh, okay, denied. Well, you know, maybe they want to know why or want to know more. or There's more reasons to it to be in an office actually talking to a person. I just had that conversation yesterday. That's one of the things I'm working with individuals who have a little bit of a rougher background you know maybe lack of employment history and things so I always say okay I you know I get it go talk to someone in person because when you sit down with that person in the office you know they can explain those things like you can say okay I don't understand anything about money like or loans can you just break it down like at you know fifth grade level whatever right like we can do that if the answer is no, we can sit down and say, okay, this is maybe how we could say yes, let's work together, you know, for a couple of months. So there's a lot of opportunity for that, which I think is good. The education and the empowerment that we can give to our members, mm-hmm. you know, along with just, you know, giving them advice on how to how to get into the future yeah. budgeting and, you know, going about the right steps. It's, I feel like that's more beneficial for our members sometimes than just the, sorry, you're denied. Like, there's more to it than that. Come see us. Let's yeah. talk. Well, and that's the same with digital. You know, I think people get very concerned that we have all these digital options now that it's because we don't want to see you. That is not the intention, right? You know, Royal, one of our core values, it's to make it easy. We want to make your financial management and your financial life easy, right? We don't want you to have to, you know, make time after work to come and deposit a check. Just do it on your phone, you know, but we want to see you for those really important things where, you know, you can come in and we can apply for that loan or we can, you know, pay off that credit card finally or all of those different things. So I think that's where people get a li- just a little nervous that the- that it's we don't want to see them, but we want to see them more. You know, we just want it to be easy too. I've heard the, are you going away? Are you, are you disappearing? Like, are you going to start losing branches? And I'm like, what? No. No, that is not the case. We are always here for you. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to make it convenient and quick for you so that you don't always have to come into the branch. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that's yeah. one of the common things. You're going to go away. No, no, we're not. No. We're here. We'll always be here. It truly, I mean, it allows us to serve them 
on a deeper level, really, you know, if we're, they can handle those check deposits and things, which we still love to deposit your checks, right? There's, you know, it's still fun, but it allows you to kind of think through those tougher questions or those more in-depth things that now you can come in and, you know, have those conversations. It kind of eliminates one of those kind of barriers, right? It also helps too if they're all over the United States. So say there's not a Royal by you and you're out in New York for a month or two and then all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, okay, I can do everything online. Now I can go back home. I'm back home again. Let's visit the branch. So we can be everywhere even though we're very local. Well, that's a really, so like the Snowbirds, that's a really good example where um, I know we had some members who they'd be down in Florida for the winter. They could update their address online before they would come back. They'd re-update it again so that they would get all their documents. They could keep track, and it was really cool. Yeah, it's almost like the app lets you be more hands-on with your finances day to day and day in day out. I think that's interesting for. I guess that's what I wish people would think more about is like it's just another tool for you to be more successful financially. Yeah. And a tool, I mean, I know we want people to use them, but it gives you the tools to have as much control over your finances as you want to. You know, it. you can deposit your checks, you can do your transfers, you can hide your accounts versus having to go in and, you know, ask for those things. But again, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. You can just use it to check your balance, right? You can use it to just shut off your debit card. Even if you don't use it regularly, having it in your back pocket as a tool if you're on, you know, vacation, awesome, right? It's always there for you. Yeah, just like us. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a good lead into the donut of this episode. Oh, did you pick a donut? Oh, that I was sh- your job. I sure did. <laughs> that was, a lot. That was picked, a lot of attitude. I picked a donut. What is it? So, obviously the app, the mobile app, right? I was thinking... Mm-hmm. Go with an old-fashioned donut, so like a Long John, vanilla, vanilla ice cream. Not like a legit old-fashioned donut. They make those. Let her. I, I was just wondering. Well, I know, but I'm definitely kind of a Long John person, so I had to tie it to the donut I actually like. <laughs> Filled or unfilled? Well, so, you know, being new and improved, so I was thinking put some filled in with some jelly, but then maybe candy on top because we're always improving and it's always the newest best model so you know there's always something that they're improving with and now there's candy there's candy on donuts and i'm like candy on donuts I'm they like, put <laughs> cereal on donuts Pretty it's crazy Yum. it's crazy so i mean what's the next best thing I, I guess i don't know yet that's the next new topping for the donut and the next new thing for royal yeah it's true there's a lot of cool things coming what kind of topping on do- candy topping on donuts do you like i'm a sprinkle girl I like oh, you just like rainbow sprinkles. Mm. That's what mm-hmm. I like. I really like the fruity pebble donuts, where it's just a From classic. Well, well, they make them at the grocery store in town that I really like where I live. You keep talking about this grocery store. I have not seen a yeah. donut from that store. I'm I just literally saying. brought them when Gigi was on the episode. That is where those all came from. Oh, did okay. you have fruity pebbles on? Them Sorry too? that I got yeah, so yeah, I did. Oh, I did eat those donuts then yeah i know were they good for heaven's sake they are good they're made fresh every day they're delicious <laughs> act like i do nothing for you <laughs> <laughs> the final pitch for me is about stress so what causes stress in your life it's when you don't know what's happening maybe like think about when you're doing the laundry if you have a more modern washing machine it has the countdown timer on it or if you have a more modern dishwasher it tells you how much time is left until it's done so mine does not do that but either just mine okay sorry i have an old-fashioned one apparently <laughs> scratch this idea my washing machine does though it's never accurate washing machine minutes are longer basically than you guys don't minutes. have the app that's what we're talking yes. about it's like you don't have the digital would life be better thing? if you knew when the laundry was going to be done yeah can we put that into like like i have an example can I use an example? I don't know. To put it into context, my sock is getting all weird. What, what does that my have to do sock, with the laundry? Which what does, does that have to do with the mobile app? Well, which what does that have to do? With so <laughs> because what I was thinking about is okay, financial stress, right? Oftentimes on any sort of survey, like financial stress is number one for people. Think back to before mobile banking and real time alerts and things like that. Okay, you go to Walmart swipe your debit card, forgot about a payment that was coming out. So now you swiped your debit card, 
you drew your account negative, you're going to get potentially a fee for that, right? And previously, you might not have known that right away, except now with those real-time alerts, you know, you can swipe that and sometimes it'll decline it and say, hey, you know, you don't have enough in your account. Or it can say, oh, low balance alert, you know, negative 20, whatever. It gives you the opportunity to be able to transfer money right away. You could potentially call us, get your, you know, NSF forgiveness for the year. Um, and then, but like before, you might not know that for a week and then you keep getting fees or it piles up and then you're in a whole different situation. There's another one too. So, you know, you're at home, you're checking your checking account and you're like, oh my God, I didn't purchase this. What is yes. this? And then you're like, it's six o'clock at night. I cannot go to the bank now until tomorrow morning. And you're just sitting there thinking about it all night. So yep. you can turn off your debit card and then even send a message on the on the message on the app if you need to, to just be like, hey, I noticed this charge. But, you know, at least takes your peace of mind that no one else can steal that card or your information while you're sitting at home waiting to get to the to the financial in the morning. So if you have a debit card and you swipe it at Walmart, does it instantly appear on your statement or does it become like a debit card where it might take until the next day? Mm, Walmart usually comes out the same day. Right, but it could be tricky at some point. But you brought up a, the good point about low low budget or low balance. Is like yeah, setting it up. doesn't. When you do it, it's typically pending on there instantly, regardless usually, usually. if it comes out. Yeah. yeah. So if it's pending, it'll give you that because it changes from available to actual balance. So you'll get that alert, which then if you put money in it, sometimes can save you an NSF fee. So. It's just really nice to have, you know, it's preventative, right? And then I think if you, the freezing your card is for point of sale terminals only, like the physical card. So if your card number was compromised, right. you could still be exposed that way. Like even if you freeze it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. I so mean, you can still it's shut it's it better, down. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing <laughs> until you can get in. But it's, you know, at least you have that opportunity to do it. Guess what's back? Back again. Yay. Steve Cam. <laughs> Steve Cam's back. Woo! Steve Cam! I didn't even know this was a thing. I All forgot right. about it until <laughs> right now. It's not, it's not actually a thing. It's it, not it's, actually it's, a thing? It's definitely a thing. Well, Steve would like it to be a one thing. One time it was a thing. <laughs> one time it was a thing. <laughs> it's a highly consistent. Is and, it only the yeah. Steve Cam because you're holding it? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes, for sure. So, Cooper. So, if, Steve. If people like the podcast, what should they do? Why don't we tell them what to do if they don't like it? Just kidding. It's not working. All right. If people like the podcast. Uh, If people like the podcast and would like to see more shenanigans, they can subscribe on their favorite podcast platform and leave us a kind review or a kind review with constructive feedback about what they want to see. From Steve Cam and from Money Donuts, Robin, thanks for joining us today. (laughs) Poor Robin. It's been a blast. Thank you, Robin. Go back and tell your friends.